Morning, everybody. Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas, and welcome to Boardwalk Hall at the famed Atlantic City Boardwalk in Southern New Jersey for a much-anticipated main event. We're scheduled for 11 rounds of heavyweight action between Smoke and Joe Frazier and Big George Foreman. Joe Frazier's approaching the ring now, and this ring walk can tell you so much. Look at the focus on his face. George Foreman's got his eye on the prize. He has complete focus on his ring walk here. Remember one thing, obey my commands at all times. Round number one is now underway. All the talk is done. It is simply time to fight. What does Joe Frazier need to be aware of in facing such a taller opponent? Same thing that he always thinks about. He keeps it pretty simple. He wants it that close. Oh, that's got to hurt. Right hand crashes home. He never saw it coming. He should tie up. Right back to the work up top. He was on wobbly legs not long ago. Now he's got his feet back under him. What is that, a chin or is that Mount Rushmore? Well done, three punch series of punches there by Frazier. his punches together. Good combination by Frazier. Sharp three punches landing by Frazier. Joe Frazier's coming up with the answers, avoiding that punch. I guess it's already a sign of things to come. They are not wasting any time toe-to-toe -to -toe in round one. If this is an appetizer, please, please bring on the meal. Well-targeted counterpunch by Frazier. Takes one, but gives one. Good work by George Foreman. Foreman's making for a tough target there. He gets away from that punch. You see the defensive guard of Joe Frazier there. Last 10 seconds of this first round. End of the round there. He was able to stun his opponent. Teddy, when you're training a guy that's coming off a round where he just got to his man, what do you do? Do you say, hey, I saw that, and here's how you did it? How do you approach that? Well, you want to make sure you remind them exactly what you're talking about, how he set it up. Don't think about just the big punch that landed. Remember, how you got to that point. Double shots both come in by Joe Frazier. <laughs> Nothing there on the punch by Frazier. How much of what Joe Frazier brings to the table in the ring, Teddy? is not about the skill set, is not about the physical presence, but that fire that burns deep within him. Look, we are always connected to where we've been. He's been to places that stay with him and allow him to go to new places. Oh, that's got to hurt. What a forceful hook by Joe Frazier. <laughs> 90 seconds to go here in this round. Keep your head. Oh, that's a solid hook by Joe Frazier. Here's one 
for you now, he says. Right back with the left hand. Missed the target with that hook. Able to get away from that headshot with the block. He got hit right there, but he also gave one. Solid effort by Joe Frazier. And that round is in the books, and that one should go into the record books. It's been all action all night, but that chapter in the book was something special. Oh, it was, Joe. You know, sometimes you go to a party, you don't know what to expect. You wind up getting guys that like to talk. They come right in, they introduce themselves. Well, here, you get guys that like to fight. Joe Frazier blocks that punch. That's a big attempt, but a big whiff on that power shot by Joe Frazier. Joe Frazier's able to land the hook on the inside. Is there anything he should be careful of, though, Teddy, on the inside like that? Holy cow! George Foreman's in bad shape! Teddy, what does he need to do right here? He has no balance. His legs aren't underneath him. Well, you know he can't move because he's going to fall on his own or the referee's going to stop him. So believe it or not, he's either got to grab or he's got to stand on the rope, stay right in front of the guy and move his head to make a miss. He can't use his legs. You know, Joe comes across as a guy that just has that single-minded focus. I want to seek and destroy. He likes to sing a little bit outside the ring. Yeah, he does, and he bobs and weaves his head, too. So he's not just walking in saying, hey, put one on my chin. Oh, what a destructive hook to the head. There it is. George Foreman stunned, and he is hurt. To throw some punches here. Oh, great exchange of power punches there. Joe Frazier's being so very effective, punching in combination. And that's what you want. He's got pretty good hand speed. Might as well use that hand speed. No better way to use it than putting them together. Nice two-punch combo by Frazier. end of the round has arrived and now an opportunity for the trainer here to get his hands on his guy his guy just got tagged pretty good there and when he looks into his eyes what is he looking for well first of all he's looking to see whether or not his guy is still there you know he got stunned pretty good and then what he has to do is make sure his guy's listening to him and telling him hey look you got caught you've been caught before this is the way we can fix it this is what you got to do to correct things. Joe Frazier's doing a good job tonight on the outside. He's able to score from the outside, keeping a safe distance away from his opponent. Joe Frazier's showing us that if he pulls this trigger, he's hitting that target. His accuracy is great. Well, that's part of his ability. You know, I mean, it's not just his hand speed and that he's technically good. You know, he's got a little bit of pop, but he knows when to throw. See, that's important, Joe, knowing when to let the hands go. He knows exactly what time it is. He got hit right there, but he also gave one. Solid effort by George Foreman. Good defense upstairs to stay away from that offensive assault. What a great job. He gave one right back in return. Nice work by Joe Frazier. This is great stuff. I mean, great stuff. Bringing it every which way they are. So you remember the time you were on a vacation, you saw that perfect sunset? Oh, yeah. It was just beautiful. This is beautiful. A clean, devastating power shot. A little return fire by Joe Frazier. Teddy, there are
there are opportunities that are here for him, aren't there? Yeah, counter punch opportunities because he's got an opponent who's walking in a little bit. Now he has a chance to start to chuck something back at him a little. Teddy, the influences in the corner of Joe Frazier, Yank Durham and Eddie Futch, what effect have they had on him? The effect that both guys are the same kind of guys. Reliable, dependable guys, guys you can trust, guys you can move forward in your career with and not miss a step. And guys that align well with Frazier's style? Yeah, they understand what his strengths are and they feed into him. Able to cover up that gut. That is my favorite punch there is. A forceful uppercut by Joe Frazier. He gets off with a combination up top. George Foreman's gone into a defensive shell, but that shell has cracks in it. Yeah, it does, and the reason why it's getting cracked is because his opponent is confident that with those earmuffs on, you know, going into that peek defense that he is, he knows he's handcuffed, so he's putting together three, four, five punches where normally he would only throw one or two, worrying something's gonna come back. A penetrating hook to the body by Joe Frazier. A well-placed left hand. Look at that. No doubt about it, he's hurt. That series of punches just got to him. You know, right now he needs to go into Keep that busy, old guys. Dean Come on Smith four-corner offense where he just kills some time, slows things down a little bit. Defense just covering up down low. He tried to nab him up top, but was unable to connect. You get the sense that they know no other way how to fight. They are going at it, back and forth, toe-to-toe, -to -toe, punch for punch. Big George Foreman, originally from Marshall, Texas, where as a youth, Teddy, he was involved in a lot of street fights, and he had a reputation as the kind of guy that you didn't mess with out and about. You know, we've had a lot of fighters that have come yeah. out that route. Boxing has saved, has turned a lot of young men who were in trouble on the streets, turned them into not only world champions, but, you know, world champions as people, people that could serve society. Foreman is one of those young men. George Foreman blocks that punch. George Foreman's just not landing any body punches in this fight. Well, he looks like a guy who hasn't been taught that. We're getting a little bit of an x-ray, a little bit of a peek into what his trainers show him in the gym or what they don't show him. Oh, they both land flush with uppercuts. George Foreman's dealing with a cut around his eye, and it's in a bad spot. His vision could be impaired. Joe Frazier blocks that punch. You can see he's trying to score up top, but off the mark there. George Foreman's just not able to land many punches to the body here, and he's fighting a faster fighter. You would think he would make that commitment. Yeah, you know, he should have talked to a plumber because a plumber would have told him, you know, you want to you wanna put a leak in somebody's basement? Well, you know what you do? You go and you open up some pipes downstairs, and then all of a sudden, there's going to be a lot of flooding. Then the upstairs ain't too good anymore. Well, the upstairs won't be too good for this fast guy. If there's some leaking in the basement, but you gotta break those pipes. You gotta do some punching downstairs. Wow! George Foreman's been keep stunned! Busy, guys. Come on now, keep busy! Oh, he's in bad shape here. He's stunned and he's wobbly. The only thing he has going for him is 
He's not a fighter that uses his legs anyway, and you can't use him right now. He's a guy that likes to move his head. He's got to start doing that. Try to cement those feet down the best he can and get some head movement. So here we are, a new round underway, and in that last round, he got tagged. He got hit pretty hard, Teddy. Yeah, he did. He got caught. Now, the first thing is, we all know he got caught, but why did he get caught? He has to be able to decipher that in his head. He has to be able to have the answer to that so it doesn't happen again. George Foreman banged around by a big uppercut. Joe Frazier's coming up with the answers, avoiding that punch. Foreman's got to conserve his energy a bit here. He just does not look like a fresh fighter right now. Yeah, you're starting to wonder right now what kind of conditioning program he had. And right now his opponent is saying, hey, I'm going to jump on him. I'm going to find out right now whether or not he did all the road work he needed to. Holy cow! What fight to that right hand by Joe Frazier. after catching one by George Foreman. Gets rid of that. It was intended for his head. It's been two minutes of non-stop action. Now the final minute has arrived. Dismisses his opponent's headshot. Able to cover up that gut. A piercing uppercut by Frazier. Joe Frazier's coasting his way towards a victory here. That round comes to an end, and yet another round that you got to mark down on your scorecard for him. Yeah, the only way he loses now is if he's a glut. You know those guys? You've seen them, Joe. They're on our crew. They stay at the table too long. They don't know when to push away from the table, you know? Well, he's got to push away from the table right now. If he does that, hey, this is in the bank. Oh, and there you go. George Foreman stunned, and he is hurt. Locks it away. Good defensive skill. Missed the target with that hook. Foreman sitting here wondering why he's getting hit so much. How about this? You're not moving your head at all. Well, how about don't wonder about it? You weren't taught that probably in the gym. You didn't work on that in the gym. Well, it's not going to come to you suddenly when you're in the arena. George Foreman's crushed by a huge uppercut. Good work with the uppercuts. Nice job there. Neither man slowing down as we have 60 seconds to go in this round. Dismisses his opponent's headshot. Right on the mark, both guys with the hook. Oh, George Foreman's almost out of it there. He was right, stunned. Unable to steady himself right now after being stunned. He's a weeble wobble in the ring right now, just wobbling keep away. Busy, guys, come on now, keep busy. Boy, he is shaky right there. He is on shaky ground in the ring right now. Joe Frazier's in complete control. Teddy, way ahead on the scorecards every which way, isn't he? Yeah, every which way, and especially the most important way, I think, is that the fight is in his kind of pace. It's a fast-paced fight. It's an outside fight. It's exactly what he wants, not only to be ahead, which we think he is, but to stay ahead.
Back to fight action as a new round is underway. Of course, in that last round, it was fairly one-sided. He was hit pretty hard, and now he has to overcome that here. Yeah, you don't have to be Notre Dame to know that. I mean, everybody saw, you know, he got staggered, his knees buckled, did a little dance there. But what you have to really know now is know why you got hit and correct that immediately. There it is! He goes down. He has so much time now, he's going to be forced to survive. wondering whether or not his opponent had a good chin. We found out. Good, enjoyable, entertaining fight it was. For Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore saying thanks for being with us.